there and welcome back to English with Inlingua Vancouver. I'm Tash and today we're going to look at some basic noun pointers. So, what is a noun? Maybe you know already. A noun is the name of a person, a place, an idea, or a thing, sometimes even a quality. So let's look at some examples of nouns. For a person, we've got boy, teacher, Josh, and doctor. Okay, they are words that name a person. For a place, example, Miami, or the city, about the countryside, outside of the city. And thing, house, tree, horse, road, ice cream, my favorite, and some ideas, democracy, truth, illusion, fantasy. These are ideas, we cannot hold them in our hands, okay? They are something we think of and we must name. Also, qualities, we cannot hold them. We can have them, they can be part of us, like beauty, caring, hatred, or boredom. These are the names for some qualities. So, nouns are names, and we use nouns all the time. We use nouns all the time, time is a noun, when we write letters to friends, maybe people, or papers, a thing, for class, another thing. You can see my nouns in red there. One of the difficult things with nouns is to decide when to use a capital letter, when to use a lowercase letter. So I'm going to give you some tips for deciding when to capitalize and when not to capitalize. Okay. When do we capitalize nouns? Here are some examples of categories that we would always capitalize. So for names, Tucker, Juanita, Mohamed, Junior, Tash. You can see I've underlined them in red. The names of a specific person, we need uppercase letters. There are some other words that can be a little tricky. Like sometimes you think, hmm, is this a name? Like sister, for example. So I can refer to my sister and say, oh, that's my sister. That is not her name. It is who she is. She is still a person. As you can see here, boy and teacher. We don't always need a capital for a person. In the case of family, boy, girl, other words like this, very general words. Okay? When we talk about one specific person, we need capital letters. Okay? For example, hi mom, welcome home dad. Do we capitalize mom and dad? Do you know? Am I talking to a specific person here? Hi mom, welcome home dad. These are real people. I'm talking to one specific person. I've lost my pen. So in this case, we are using these words instead of their given name. So I call my mom, mom. So it is acting as her name. So we do need a capital letter in this case. How about here? How is your mom? What do you think? Do we need a capital letter? In this case, we do not need a capital letter. We are talking about somebody else who isn't there and we're not using it as a name replacement, then we don't need a capital letter for mom or dad. So if I'm like, oh, could your mom or dad pick me up after school? Then I don't need a capital letter. Days, months, and holidays. Holidays are my favorite. Monday, December, Easter, all of these need the capital letter. Okay. All of these nouns need a capital letter. Nouns like the names of seasons, autumn, summer, and fall, they do not need a capital letter. Geographic areas, so places, right? Sometimes we need capital, sometimes we don't. 
So how do you decide? North Dakota, Ohio River, Camby Street. All of these are specific places, the names of one special place that I am referring to, and they all need capitals. If I am being more general, the ocean is cold, but the beach is pretty. Can you see the nouns? There's two nouns. We've got ocean and beach, but they are very general nouns. Okay, they are not the name of a specific beach or a specific ocean, so I don't need a capital. If I said the Pacific Ocean is cold, but Stanley Park is pretty, then I would need capitals for Pacific Ocean and Stanley Park because they are specific names. Next up, we have ranks and titles. Do you know what a rank is? Like in the army, private, ranger, sergeant, or in the police force, okay? Ranks. And titles like doctor. So, we looked at doctor already in person. Does this need a capital? No, this is a general doctor. I'm not using it in place of one person's name. For example, Dr. Smith, my doctor, this is acting as part of his name. It is his title, one specific person. Aunt Anne, same situation, one specific person. So we need those capital letters. And General Bradshaw, okay. she's a general in the army. She's a general, no capital. She is General Bradshaw, capital, capital. So I have a sample sentence for you here, so you can see without capitals how we can use these words. That man is a doctor. This is my aunt. Okay. Similar to when we were talking about your mom, this is my aunt, not using it as a title. Aunt Anne is her name. My aunt is my relation to her, so we don't need a capital. For regions, okay, another word for region would be areas. I was born in the Midwest. Okay, Midwest is a region in the USA, but I grew up in the North, a region again. But if we are using it to describe like a direction in town, for example, then we don't need a capital letter. I have this underneath, wrong side. I live on the North side of town. In the north side, it's a direction. We don't need a capital for this north. And historical periods, okay, period, time, in the past, the Renaissance, okay, full of art. This gets a capital, it was a period of time. It's a specific period. World War II, it's a specific event. We need capitals. Top tip, we always write that with I-I, never with the number two. Okay. World War II, and the Middle Ages, capitals, 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 for these specific historical periods. Okay. Not that one, that's the beginning, don't need it for the. But if we are talking about a general thing, like mm, World War II was terrible, World War, capital, capital, it was a long war. When it's Describing like this, a long war, we don't need the capital. Okay, I have to change my board, but we're going to continue this lesson right now. So as you can see, I've changed my board over to add in some more information for you, continuing with nouns. So our next section is religions, nationalities, races, language, countries, and adjectives that are related to countries. That one can be a little confusing, so pay attention to this part. Religions, for example, Christians, Jews, nationalities, Asians, Africans, the Japanese, a language like Arabic, a country like France, and then an adjective related to a country like France, French fries. So here we are describing the fries. They are French. French is acting as an adjective, but we still need to capitalize that adjective. The same for German measles, okay? Becomes part of the noun. So, 
We also capitalised for gods and sacred books. God, Jehovah, Allah, these names all need an uppercase letter. The Bible, or the Koran. And when we are replacing the name of a god with a pronoun, like he or she, we also need to capitalise that pronoun. So, for example, he is love, even if it is not a capital, uh, beginning of a sentence, we still need to capitalise the pronoun. So we are using it in place of the God's name. We do not capitalise if we are talking about gods and goddesses in a very general sense. For example, there were many gods and goddesses in ancient myths. Gods and goddesses here, we do not need an uppercase letter. Next, we have specific subjects, like at school or university. When we are talking about one class, the name of the class, we would capitalise that name. Algebra 101. History of China. The name of the class needs capitals. Of course, China, as a country, needs one anyway. But if we are talking in a more general sense, I'm taking algebra and history. Algebra and history. This is a general sentence and we do not need to capitalize the subject titles unless we are giving the class its name. We also use capitals in the names of specific schools, businesses, buildings, and organizations. Okay. For example, Apple Computer, the company. Phillips Middle School, it's a specific middle school. The University of Ohio, so Ohio being a country, being a state, sorry, would also need a capital because it's a place, okay, specific place, but university here needs a capital as well. In lingua has two capitals because we think we're really cool. But the capital at the front is the name of the specific school. We need capital letters for brand names, okay, all brands. Ford Mustang, Nintendo, Cheerios, Nike, Dr. Martins, Canon, all of these brands need a capital, okay, as the name of the brand always takes a capital letter. The names of planets like Jupiter, Mars, and Neptune need a capital letter. Sometimes we don't capitalize Earth when we talk about the world. When we say, oh, there are six billion people living on the Earth. We don't capitalize Earth when we talk about it generally. But if we are looking at a row of planets, Mars, Earth, then we would capitalize when we talk about the planet as its name. Okay? Not when we can replace with the world when we use the planet name. We never capitalize the moon or the sun. Okay. So you see here, the moon is full tonight. Moon does not need a capital, neither does sun. We need capitals when we have letters that are by themselves that connect to make a word, like t-shirt, okay. or a u-turn. When you're driving, you turn around, that is a u-turn. T-shirt, X-ray, A+, plus. these letters by themselves, especially if they have a hyphen, always take a capital. We use capitals when we name teams or clubs, like sports teams. The Atlanta Braves, the Republican Party. But if we are talking in a more general sense, I play on a baseball team. And I'm not naming the team, so I don't need a capital letter. Titles of movies, names for books, even chapters within books, we have to give them a capital. Jurassic Park, Gulliver's Travels, always take capital letter. Okay, and at the bottom I have a little tip for you. When you're writing out the titles of books, movies, TV shows, music albums, okay, any titles, we do not capitalize the little words, okay? The articles, the prepositions and the conjunctions within a title do not get capitalized, no, no. Only the first letter, okay, and then all of the big words, the important words, need to be capitalized. So I have an example for you here, I'll move out of the way so you can see. 
the life and times of King Joshua the Great. You can see here, capital the, so it's the first word. Capital for life, no capital for and, okay? We don't need a capital for and, it's linking. Times, capital. Of, preposition, no capital. King, capital. Joshua, capital, it's his name. The, no capital. Great, capital. So it's really important to remember when you're putting together the names of books or movies within your work, okay? Don't capitalize those little connection words. So I hope that video has helped you learn how to capitalize nouns correctly and I will see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.